I'm Brittany McCallum here with Journal 203 News at 5. The entire nation is struggling with soaring gas prices, and it's not looking too good here in Michigan. In a local town, college students are discouraged from going home on the weekends to visit family. We sent out reporter Jill Silverstein to an East Lansing gas station to see how bad things really are. Thanks, Brittany. I'm standing here at the BP gas station right on Michigan Avenue, where 45,000 Michigan State students come to fill up their gas tank. A little while ago today, the sign read $3.99, and within a couple hours, it's already gone up 10 cents to $4.09 per gallon. And I've been told prices are only getting higher. Brittany, my pockets are empty. I just simply cannot afford the gas, and I bet you can't either. They're so high basically because um, of the price per, garrel, per barrel that we purchased the um, gasoline for um, and we have to raise our prices obviously to compensate and make some money off of it. Pretty today is a sad, sad day. Why? Because I have to fill up my gas tank. $20 only got me less than five gallons of gas. And to fill up this bad boy, now that would be it's way too high. I can't even go home that much, as much as I want to. It takes like $45 to fill up my tank and I have a little car. The price of gas hit $4.21 in the summer of 2008. Then in 2009, dropped to nearly $1.50. As you can see in the chart, the price of gas is always fluctuating. Yep, this morning um, we decided to go down because we are competitive with other stations. Um, so we went down 10 cents. However, I've been told that we are going to be having a recovery where we are going to be raising our prices again probably either today or the next couple days. This is a map of East Lansing. The green represents where you can find the cheapest gas and the yellow more expensive. An Admiral Station out by Trout Lake has gas for 383 then 384 a little closer on Grand River. A Speedway has 396 on Lake Lansing and then Marathon Oil 399. Everything around campus is pretty much 399. Excuse me ma'am, today is overcast. How come you're on your bike? I can't afford gas prices. At Jern 203 News, we care about you. Here are some tips on how to save gas money. The weather's getting warmer, so pull on the bicycle and lace up those shoes. For Journey 203 News at 5, I'm Brittany McCallum. And I'm Jill Silverstein, and we'll see you next time.